Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello, welcome to the episode. This is Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. If you don't know what's going on, you didn't watch the last episode. Can't watch a podcast, Ivy. And you didn't hear the last episode. So go listen to it. Go go listen to this one if you have no idea what's going on. So Oh, mommy, you go first and tell. No, you go oh, first. Okay. I said you were gonna go first. Okay. So, my character's name is Amphina. Huh? And they are a halfling. They ha- have tan. They have tan skin, hazel eyes. They're about 43 pounds, and halflings are gonna, and, and, and them like other halflings are, are good at blending into the crowd. Hold, hold, as I, I live with human and dwarves or elves. Uh, 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 uh. Is my race not They here? love to explore. And also I didn't mention, but they are three feet tall. They walk at a speed of 25 miles per hour. I know, that's just walking. Yeah, I know, it's really fast. And they're curious. And halflings reach the age of... When halflings reach the age of 20, they are considered adults. And my character is about 19 and a half. So they're almost adults, but not quite yet. And halflings are lucky, brave, and halfling no. And we can move through space, spaces of any creature you're larger than yours. Ours. We speak. We, we speak in a lot of language. And there's. There is. And our ability he score increases. Our charisma score increases. By one percent, by one, and we are not. And they're naturally he's stealthy. So now you tell something about your character. Okay, so my character has to get changed because um, we couldn't find anything about. Uh, door it? No, gnomes. Gnomes? Yeah. Yes, gnomes. So, because I have to change, uh, basically, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna go to the elf because I won the elf coin toss. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, I won the elf coin toss. Uh, so, let's see. Elves. They can live over 700 years. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be... I don't know how long halflings live. It doesn't say how long halflings live. So how did you determine your age again? My character is 19 and a half. Mm-hmm. Almost, almost an adult because halflings are adults when they turn 20. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So my character's on the screen. Oh, 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 so it's not based on how long they live, is, which turns adult. So I'm going to be a nice, young, say, uh, 380. Yeah. Yeah. Can we give our characters last names? Sure. Okay. My character's last name is High Hill. 
High Hill? Yes. Elves are magical people of otherworldly grace, living in the world, but not entirely part of it. They live in places of ethereal beauty, in the midst of ancient forests and a silvery spire is glittering with fairy light, where soft music drifts through the air and gentle fragrances waft on the breeze. Elves love nature and magic, art and artistry, music and poetry, and the good things of the world. With their unearthly grace and fine features, uh, they play. They appear hauntingly beautiful to humans and members of other races. Ooh, they're slightly shorter than humans, on average, ranging from under five feet, just like me, to just yeah. over six feet. Okay, so like around like human height. Yeah, just that like around sound shorter. Human that sounds height. like around human height. Yeah, like around human height. Males and females are about the same height and uh, only marginally heavier than their families. This is bringing back memories to an RPG game that I played before World of Warcraft. And I can't remember the name of it. And it makes me so mad. Anyway. So yeah, they can live over 700, giving them a broad perspective on events that might trouble the shorter lived races more deeply. So, you know, you 19 about to be 20. If you get if you need any advice from me, I can give you some advice cuz I've seen a few dozen of your kind come into adulthood over the many many eons that I've been okay. alive. Yeah. I can't yeah. really like change my voice. I can't really like make my character have the voice I wanted to give him cuz I can't like smile. <laughs> I can't, right? So, okay. Yeah. Uh, hidden woodland realms. Most elves dwell in the forest. Um, small villages hidden among the trees. Uh, they hunt game, gather food, and grow vegetables in their, uh, and their, they grow vegetables, and their skill and magic allow them to support themselves without the need for clearing or plowing. Oh, okay. Okay. So we, we got super duper green thumbs. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Exploration and adventure. Uh, they take up adventuring out of wonderlust. Oh, that sounds like me. I love to adventure just for the wonder, just because. Ooh. That's kind of like reason. the same reason that, that, um, Halflings explore. Like, it says out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. That's halflings? Or that was... Halflings. I thought that was gnomes. Oh, well. They are considered children until they declare themselves adults. Sometime after their hundredth birthday. <laughs> and before this period, they are called by child names. On declaring adulthood, an elf selects an adult name. Although... Those who knew him or her as a younger might continue to use their child name. Um, like, I will always call you Ives, even when you're an adult. My character's name is Amphina. Oh, sorry. So Amphina. you can call them, like, Amph. Um. Yeah, because, like, halflings give each other nicknames. And sometimes nicknames are generational. Mm. So, it's, it's kind of normal. I'm seeing so a lot of similarities. Your yeah, yeah, your mom is yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. That kind no. of thing. No. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's generational. So you can have a child named like Ara and an um, adult named like um, Arena. Audrey or Althea. So you could be like Del and become Althea. I like Del and Althea or Thea. You think Tia? Tia? No, it's Tia. Tia. Zanthia. Zanthia. Zan. Zanthia. Because then, like, your child name can be Zan. You gave me my child name? Zanthia. 
and baby is human with Zari. Um, so I guess, you know, what's next, Dungeon Master? Okay. Center age, alignment, love, freedom, variety, self-expression, size. This is like a you know, skills of perception, ability score increase. Ooh, your intelligence score increases by one. Okay, so your intelligence... And I'm charismatic. AKA, I have good social skills. Plus one. I have a proficiency with long swords, strong bows, and long bows. I'm gonna do a sword and a long bow. I'm. I, I don't have any weapons assigned to me because oh. dwarves just don't like to don't hate to see others in pain. Okay. So that's probably why I don't have a weapon option. So my item is going to be like a flute that wakes people that like calms creatures down. Okay. Because like I can't have a weapon. So that's like as close as I'm probably going to get. Okay. A cantrip. I have intelligence, spell spellcasting. Um, you can speak, read, and write one extra language of your choice. Cool. So, ability score increase your wisdom. If I'm a wood elf, that's a high elf. Yeah, I'm going to do high elf. Okay. And keep it simple for our first round. Yeah, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. <laughs> now. Class page thirty one. Class page thirty one. Okay. Well, um, mine for wizard is on page thirty one. I guess you can go to thirty one and scroll up or down and see which one is going to take okay, you to your class. Okay, I'm going to go to. Oh, 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 oh. Scholars of the arcane, eight. lore of knowledge. Martial knowledge, knowledge. Art. This is a lot uh, of stuff. Oh my gosh! I don't I think we're gonna cool. barely get started tonight, uh, Ivy, because the setup is uh, very whoa. detailed. We're basically writing entire backstories for actors in a show that we make up. Yeah, characters. That I was thinking, like, since we, if we bothering to go through the process of learning D and D, like universe, we might as well just make our own. Yeah. Okay. That's like based so... on being unschoolers or schoolers, adults who go to work and ignore their kids, adults who pay attention to their kids, and then, um, like the the stay at home mom and or the stay at home dad who's also a full time worker. And like, then the kids who um, who like um, being homeschooled, and the kids who hate it, and then like the kids who go to school and the kids who hate it, and then adventures, and the teacher walks in the building and says to the students, "You didn't finish your homework." <laughs> and the school kids start a ruckus. And some things are said. Whose feelings get hurt? The teachers, the students, the commenters, the whole school board. Roll the dice to find out. Brrr. And depending on which order, the number that drops, that's who gets the attack. It turns out that the kids were attacking the entire school. They told the teacher that the school wasn't setting them up for success, and they were going to start a revolt. Well, 
So that was the setup. Now you have to make a decision. Uh, I think. No, that was not a full setup. Because they said they were going to revolt. And then what? What gets us to a decision? I don't know. One kid stands Wait, I up thought we were and still starts shouting. Our characters. We should leave. We should leave. The other students now do something. Um. Okay, so. I know, you're so like, like, to ask. I just can't. Uh, Wait, hold on. I distracted on. us because Look. I was thinking about our own game. Okay. Just but so I you know, I'm always going to think about us making our own stuff. Okay. Because why not? We're creative people. I have proficiency in spell casting. Okay, so it doesn't show okay, anything for Ranger. Spell slots per level. So I only get one slot. And then as it go down, I'll get nine. When I'm at the 16th level. Oh, this is how you level up. This is your level up chart. Remember when you said you didn't want to do it manually with the dice? You wanted to um, go by the fixed? This is the fixed rate here of your level up and what you get when you level up. So, like, when I level up, I'll get sparks, uh, spell casting, arcane recovery. And then I'll get arcane tradition. And then I get nothing. No, I'll get a second slot. And then I'll get ability score. Ooh, this is actually good for what I'm trying to do. Ooh. My computer just died. Oh, no. And I couldn't find a section on... um. Rangers. Oh. So, yeah. So maybe we, you might have to change. Like, I had to change. Okay, what should I change to? Is there know. anything you saw? I think we're just going to have to do our reading. But we definitely got it started this time around. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to be a wizard like you. I'm going to be a wizard like you for now. So we can figure stuff out. So we must I'm hang out a lot if I'm so old, you so young. And you decided to follow in my footsteps and become a wizard also. That means that I'm your mentor and you're my mentee. Yeah. You're my like, protege. No. Yeah. Until we can, like, find stuff about rangers. So, for right now, I'm a wizard. Okay. Okay. Let's get to playing. Playing? is time to bed now. I'm tired. We just got to start on our characters. Okay, go ahead. Do okay. you can start the campaign. Okay. And you live in the house, right? In the house? No, I'm 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 a high elf. High elf, okay. I live on treetops. Okay. In a house on the treetops. In a house on the treetops. There lives is an owl. And a halfling who live happily together. But one day they hear uh, of, of the dragon dungeon. No one knows who runs the dungeon. But the dungeon takes creatures of all types and locks them in. And no one knows why they does that or what happens to those creatures. Okay, but now you have to set up the scene. For something for for a decision to be made. They walk out oh, into the forest when they see a great big, big cantaloupe. A cantaloupe. Oh, it's a like cantaloupe. A bear cantaloupe hybrid. Oh, cause it's so true. Okay, so. My elf. What are we? See, so sorry, we have to write it down. Wizard. My elf wizard. <laughs> I'm tired. What do you want from me? My elf wizard sees what's happening up ahead and puts out their hand to stop you. But in my haste and my fear, my hand moved too quickly and flung you back into the woods. 
and you don't know what happened. And now you Now you what? Now it's a decision. It's I made a decision to put my hand up and stop you, but I hit you by accident. Do you I want to see how strong that hit was? Or do you want to do something else? I want to else? see how strong that hit was to see if it'll actually, like, push me back. Okay, so... That's my strength level. Perfect reward system chart. Reward system charts. The teeth. Okay, so. What did you say you did? Uh, I didn't. S let's roll the dice to see how strong. Yes. Let's see how strong that hit was. Okay. To see if it'll actually push my character back. Okay. Okay. So, which one are you using? Spinner? Yeah. Or the D20. Spinner. Okay. Let's do spinner. Three. Three. So it was like midway. Yeah. What is midway? So it didn't hurt you. You definitely felt it. It wasn't a light tap. Um, you were you were blown back. It was it was. So it just it was, like you stumbled me back, on the not blown back. Sorry, you weren't blown back, but you didn't hold your ground. You just kind of stumbled. Okay. Okay. So it was just like I stumbled. Yeah. And then when you fell to the ground, you realized there was a wolf right down the path. Five feet from the two of you. What do you do? I grabbed out my flute. And when, so, oh, if it came near and I was angry... She, I could calm it down. It comes nearer and nearer, and you start to play and play and play. But then, not knowing what you were doing, I scream out to you. Come! Where are you? Quickly! We gotta get out of here! Distracting the wolf from your flute. Causing them to lunge towards you. What do you do? I put my float in front to uh, keep it from biting me. Okay. Continue the story. What's the result of that action? It manages to push me to the ground, but luckily the flute doesn't break. So it's still holding on to the wolf. What do you do in that situation? I'm not part of that situation. You got to you got to create a new setup to give me a decision to make. Cuz remember, I'm I'm oh. Sorry. I'm a little bit ahead of you, so I don't know about the wolf. I walked off a little bit. When I hit you and you stumbled back, I didn't notice. Remember, because you didn't get hit very hard. You just kind of stumbled. So I didn't notice that you fell. I kept walking. And then I saw something. And I screamed out for you, trying to find you. And that distracted the wolf. And then the wolf came at you. So that was the decision. That was my setup. Now you have to make the decision what happens with the, when the wolf is coming for you. And you made that decision that you used your flute. To hold them off. Then I scream out for for you to come help. Wait, okay. What's your character's name again? Zanf 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 Zanafia. Zanafia. Then I call out Zanafia. What's your character's name again? I'm 
Enfina. How do I spell that? I don't know. Me. I don't know how to spell Enfina. En Enfina. E U P H E M I A Enfia. It's an E N or E U. E U. That's not an N then. That's a uh, Euphema. Oh. It's not. It's not an N. Euphema. Okay. Euphema, Euphema, Can I still pronounce the name the same way? Euphemia. So then just change the spelling. You can make it be your name whatever you want it to be. Yeah. So E N. Okay. I'm gonna do E apostrophe capital N for you. So it looks fancy. Okay, here we go. What do you do? In the situation, hmm, what do I do? I can't decide. Let's flip a coin. What are the decisions? Okay, so heads, I head towards you. Dun, dun, dun. Tails, I keep my tail turned from you and run ahead to try to deal with the situation. Okay. What situation? The situation that I called out to you about. The, that I saw the, happening and I screamed out to you. The cannibal bear? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do, 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 do. Tails. Uh, not hearing you. I run on ahead to the situation with the, with the cantaloupe bears. Yeah. And I immediately start casting spells to try to calm them down and freeze them where they were. But one breaks through and starts coming for me. I turn tail again and run back in your direction, screaming, Enfima, Enfima. Enfia. Enfia, Enfia. Oh, so then we have to take out the M too. Enthia. Enthia. Yeah. Enthia. So you have to take out the M. So Enthia. So it has to be spelled like that. Enthia. E N P H E. I A. Enthia. 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 I stumble too on a on a tree's root, and I am knocked unconscious. You already broken free from the wolf. Hear me screaming and run towards my voice. And then you, what happens? I run over to find you unconscious. And I take out my flute to calm the bears. Let's do, let's, okay, let's do a coin flip. Tails, it doesn't work and the bears are angry. And heads, the bears are calm. Heads. heads. Okay. Calming the bears, and then I, hey, quickly, and then I, hey, quickly, hey, check your pulse to make sure you're still alive. And I see that you're alive. So I, hey, sit and wait for you to regain consciousness. I regain consciousness nearing dark. Asking if Enfima is okay after she checked on me and let me know she took care of everything. I decide that it's time for us to press back, no, to go back home and try again the next day. For there was too much turmoil ahead and we didn't want to have to fear it under the cover of night. And so we head back to our village. I drop you off at yours, and I head on to mine, and we shall meet again tomorrow. And so goes our first D and D session. Yes. Our first D and D session is now. Ding ding ding. Can we do the honors? Bye.
Y'all need to come up with a standard closing, you know. 